Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tenderfoot Bushcraft. My name's Andy, I'm here again with my dog Luna today. And tonight we're going to be spending a night in the woods, but we've got no hammock, we've got no tent, we've got no tarp, all we've got is a rain poncho. <laughs> so I'm uh, really hoping it doesn't rain tonight. If it does, we'll have to sort something out. Um, so I'm just going to find a spot now and uh, show you my care. We'll get some beer on the go, we'll get some food on the go. And uh, yeah, it'd be good. So stay tuned and I'll see you shortly. Okay, so uh, I think this little area here will do. Um, I'm just going to find a spot and uh, clear it out because there's a lot of just dead branches and things uh, all over the floor. So I just need to clear an area for me. Um, and then we will get started. I'll show you the poncho. I'll show you the gear I've got with me. So by carrying a poncho as my main shelter, it does mean that I've got very little gear with me today. Uh, and I've actually cut it down a lot more than I normally would. And I've just got my core tools uh, that I need sleeping bag roll mat and all that but we'll go through that in a little bit uh, so I'm just going to clear out some space and um, get set up so we'll do that and I'll show you my gear hey guys uh, I've actually had a bit of a change of plan uh, I've just been looking around this area at where to set up and um, there's actually a lot of dead quite large branches here and trunks which will uh, enable me to do something I want to do for a little while now and that's build a raised bed um, I was just going to be sleeping on the ground with a roll mat and my sleeping bag tonight but I think I could build a raised bed with materials here um, if I show you what I mean by that so there's lots of these long branches like this you can see there's a pile here down there there's a large log uh, and there is another one just up around here so do you know what, I think I can make this work. Uh, the only downside is, it's already getting kind of late. Um, it's actually a weekday today, I've been working all day, and I came straight out after work. So um, it just means I might lose a bit of light and I might not be able to do all the things I want to do with you guys tonight, but I think this might be cool. It might go completely wrong and I might end up on the floor anyway, but that's what this channel's all about. It's all about me learning. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna do it now. I'll try and film as much as I can, but again, I'm gonna be doing it quite quick, because, um, I need to get it done before it gets too dark, so let's give it a go. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the main structure of it together. Um, I've just done this really quickly, really simply. 
I'm sure there's lots of you out there that will tell me there's a much better way of doing this, but I've just found some straight deadfall. I've got a few bits I need to clean off with my knife. Um, two logs, and then I'm just going to get some, just make some pegs basically, and just peg down each side so it doesn't roll from side to side. Try and keep it as tight as I can whilst I'm doing that. And I've got my roll mat, so I'll just throw my roll mat over the top, and Robert's your father's brother, I guess, as they say. We'll see. I might wake up halfway through the night, haven't fallen through it. <laughs> we'll see. Catch you guys in a bit. I'll tell you what, I really wish I bought my axe with me today. First time I've not bought it with me and could have done with it, but hey hey, make do. So I put my roll mat down. Let's see what it's like. Ooh. You know what? That's all right. <laughs> Definitely stepped on worse. Yeah, I think that'll be absolutely fine. I was planning on having Luna sleeping with me, like she normally sleeps on me or in between my legs, but um, I think I'll just make a little bed here, I've got a blanket for her. I think she'll be happy there with me. So yeah, that's alright, I'm quite happy with that. All I need to do now is put up the poncho. So uh, I'll crack the poncho out, show you guys, I'll get that up. And then uh, I think it's time for a beer, definitely time for a beer. Okay, so this is the poncho. So it's literally just a rain poncho, basically. It's like a military style one. Um, I actually bought it at a airsoft festival because it was peeing down the rain and I didn't have a coat, so I picked this up. But little did I know that, as you can see, it's just a poncho. But down the sides, it's got these poppers. I don't know if you can see that. So you can pop it open, you pop both the sides open and you're then left with what was effectively a tarp. Um, and I've seen people sleeping under them before on videos on YouTube so I thought why not, I'll give it a go. So I think what I'm going to do is just make a basic lean-to over the top of this bed that I've built and um, that should do the job. So I'll get it set up and I'll show you guys Okay guys, there we go. There is my makeshift shelter. That's probably taken me the best part of an hour. I'll just show you around it. So as you can see, I've just got a basic lean-to structure. Which goes over the top of me. I've just propped up the top with a stick. This bit here. Just so it's not my face, but uh, if the weather came in, I can get rid of that stick and it drops down really low over the top of me. I think that's going to be all right. I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, I can tuck in under it quite comfortably. I'll tell you what, with that roll mat, it's actually it's not too bad at all. So I think it's stepped on a lot worse than this. And yeah, like I say, I can get rid of this and this will sit there. If there was any rain to come down, I think this would protect me pretty well. So yeah, obviously it wasn't what I was planning to do. Um, so what I was going to do was show you this poncho in detail and just show you some of the different setups that I've seen online. And obviously I'd try and give them a go and see how they went. But um, but yeah, I just saw the opportunity to build a raised bed. And um, like I said, it's something I've always wanted to do ever since I've been interested in bushcraft. Um, so I guess that's what bushcraft is all about, isn't it? It's about finding opportunities and um, making the most of them. Uh, you know, if there are any issues, you just adapt and you overcome. 
So that's what I've done tonight, I'm quite happy with that. Um, obviously it was really quick. Um, if I had a bit more time, I would definitely have found some more suitable logs that went along because some of them are slightly different thickness, so some stick out more than others. Um, and the big thing is I would have had my axe, which would have made it so much easier, um, particularly for making like the stakes and everything. Um, just trying to use a knife is quite difficult, but luckily this ground's really, really soft, so actually it wasn't really a problem at all. Okay, that's step one done. Time for step two. Ooh. Shy Poor IPA. Nice. Do you know what guys, I'm actually going to give a quick shout out to a channel, uh, Steve Wallace. Uh, I'll keep on just quoting his videos, um, he's the one that always says step two is a beer. Um, so I'll just, I'm going to stick a link below, Steve Wallace, definitely get on there, have a look. He's actually the reason I started taking up bushcraft, um, although he doesn't do bushcraft himself, but last year I've been poorly for a little while, uh, at the end of the summer, and I spent days indoors, couldn't really go outside very much, I had a really, really, really severe ear infection in both ears actually. And I just found his channel, and over the course of a week or two, I watched his entire log. Um, and he's just a really funny guy, really interesting, down-to-earth Canadian guy. Goes out camping, goes out in like minus 28 degrees with a little steel wood burner inside of his fishing tent. Um, they're just really cool videos. He started off really small and he's grown his channel to a huge, huge height now. So yeah, check it out below. But I'm just going to sit out now and just chill out for a little bit. Drink my beer, um, sit with Luna. She's still, um, she's still got lots of energy. She's still sprinting around. She actually found at the bottom of the hill down there. She's found a pond which I didn't realise, and she's obsessed with water. And she was straight in there. So it looks like I'm going to be sharing my bed with a wet, smelly dog, which is great. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so just going to sit and chill, and uh, I'll bring you guys along in a moment when I have some food. Okay guys, I thought I'd just quickly show you what gear I brought with me. Uh, like I said, I've kept it really light today. Uh, so I've obviously got a poncho, which doubles up as my raincoat. I've got this just thin little roll mat. I've got my Mora companion, which I've shown you guys before. Absolutely top notch stuff. I've got this little fold up saw here. Uh, this is really cheap. I think I bought this for about £5 from Asda, I think it was. Um, obviously you can buy the Baco Laplander. That's one that most bushcrafters take with them, which is a very, very similar design, uh, but about four times the price. So just starting out, I thought this would do. And to be honest, it does the trick. I mean, I've cut all these to size today. It's no problem at all. Um, it might not be quite as durable, I don't know. But so far, it's been great. Um, my sleeping bag, which is just a Van Gogh, I think it's a three season sleeping bag. I've got my furrow rod and I've got my Tinder box here. Uh, this is from Beaver Bushcraft. My dad bought me this for my 30th, it was a really special present actually. Um, I will do a, a, so, a proper video on this. Um, but I, I thoroughly recommend you getting on Beaver Bushcraft and having a little look at the, their website. This is a decent brass tin, feels like really nice quality. Um, it had a steel striker in there, lots of bits of flint and loads of different types of tinder. There's all sorts in here, packed in. Um, and I will make a video just about this soon, um, just a, a quick video, but I thoroughly recommend get on Beaver Bushcraft. I'll stick a link below. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this bit of kit. It's great. And other than that, in terms of my kit, that's pretty much it. I've got some food and drink with me. I've got a torch um, and that's it. Nothing else with me. Um, I just thought I'd keep it really light. So no ax, no spare gear. Um, oh, I've obviously got my first aid kit packed in the top of my bag here. But yeah, I just thought it'd be quite fun to come out with little gear 
and just try and be resourceful, which is obviously what I've done here. Just try and use the resources that are here. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm going to make a really small fire. It's just going to be a tiny little fire. And I'm going to cook some burgers on my little grill. So yeah, we'll start that fire in a minute and I'll see you there. Cheers, guys. Okay guys, just whilst I'm waiting for this fire to uh, die down a bit so I can cook on it, I just want to give a quick shout out and thanks to everyone who's watching this video, but also everyone that's supported me so far. I mean, this is my third video I'm filming now and to be honest, I thought it was, this was just going to be an exercise of me in the woods, pretty much talking to myself, talking to the camera. Um, but you guys have been amazing. I've got way more views, way more subscribers than I thought I'd have in like a year. And that's with two videos so just thank you guys so much you have no idea how much it means to me um, that you guys are taking an interest uh, and thanks in particular to a lot of people in the bushcraft community um, you guys are amazing i've had so much great feedback from the community lots of advice lots of helpful tips um, so thank you guys so much i really appreciate it i did not think i was going to get this much attention this quick um, so thank you guys very much Cheers, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, so I'm gonna be cooking some burgers. Key ingredient in here, onion. So I've just got some onion chopped up, got some butter in there. I'm just gonna place it in like that. Let that cook. Oh, smell of onions and burgers. I didn't bring a burger flipper, so I made one out of a stick. <laughs> Seems to work all right. Simultaneously, not nearly lost my camera in there, and then as I stood out, my seat rolled down there. So it's going well. But hey, they're looking good. About ready to eat, I think. Get the cheese on there. Get the hot sauce on there. Annoyingly, I thought the camera was recording, but it wasn't. Uh, but I've had my burgers, and they were really, really good. Um, yeah, that grill worked quite well, actually, that little grill. It was a bit fiddly. I probably could have got a flatter base for it. But um, cooked the burgers well. So yeah, I'm happy with that. They were tasty. So now me and Luna are just going to chill out, I think. Um, just finish my beer. Got a podcast I'm going to listen to. So I'm just going to lay in the bed in a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's probably been a little bit rushed today, a bit more rushed than I planned. I uh, haven't got quite as much filming done as I'd hoped, um, but I got the bed done, which was great. I wasn't, that wasn't planned at all. Um, and like I say, I, I was going to just do a bit of filming about the pond show and different ways to set it up, but I might do that another time. 
Um, I mean, you guys have seen it now. But I might take it out another time and set it up in a different way. You know what, this is actually really comfy. I'm quite surprised by this. Yeah, hopefully Luna's gonna settle down here and lay down. At the minute she's investigating around the fire, seeing if I've left any burger. Luna, come here. Come here. Hi. <laughs> no, it's not staying. But yeah, she's actually a bit of a wimp, Luna. Um, we've taken her out camping a few times and she's normally been alright, but it's always been in, in a tent. Um, so this will be the first time sleeping outside for her. But she's scared of everything. She's scared of noises and fire and the dark and just about everything really. <laughs> so it might be an interesting night, but she can try and fit up here with me if she needs to. But hopefully she'll just settle down here. And I'm gonna keep her lead on just so she doesn't disappear in the night. I don't think she would, but you never know. Especially whilst I'm asleep, I just wanna know that she's nearby. So I'll have her lead on and just have her, have her connected to me. So yeah, just time to chill out now. I'm just gonna lay down and chill. Uh, like I said, just listen to a couple of podcasts, I think, have a beer, and then yeah, be happy. Right, see you in a bit. Right, guys, so the sun's gone down now. Um, starting to get a bit dark, so uh, we're going to tuck up into bed, I think, soon. Um, like I said, just sit back and chill, listen to some podcasts. <coughs> Luna, <coughs> come here. 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 <laughs> Hopefully, she'll settle down, but. Um, like I said, she's scared of everything, so as soon as she hears a noise, she's growling and barking, so um, I'm going to have to keep an eye. I think if she gets too stressed, I might have to take her home. Luckily, I only live five minutes away. Um, obviously, I didn't want her to get too stressed, but hopefully she'll settle down. Um, I'm going to take her in the hammock with me, and I think she'll be a bit more chilled then, because she can actually get in the hammock with me. Uh, she's pretty good at it already. And um, she'll probably feel a bit more safe and secure, but she might chill out. I hope she does. But anyway, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm probably not going to film in the morning because it's actually it's a work day today. It's Tuesday today. Um, so I finished work and came straight out here, which means I've got to get up and go first thing in the morning. Sorry, there's a mosquito trying to bite me there. Get out. Uh, yeah, so I'm really literally just going to get up, pack up and go, go home and um, another day at work, unfortunately. But there we go, I just feel really lucky to have access to this bit of land so close to my house. Um, it just means that after work I can come out and do this. Spend the night out here and get home in time for work, which is so, so awesome. So yeah, from me and Luna, goodbye. Um, please do like and subscribe. Again, if you've got any suggestions for either future videos um, or anything you would have done differently today, um, do let me know because like I say, I am trying to learn and I'm learning from you lot watching. You know, you guys are leaving some really helpful feedback. So thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you guys again soon. Take it easy.